Riz. Riz is the term used for when a man uses his charm, his undeniable beauty, his smooth and almost angelic-like wordplay, his otherworldly drip. In order to attract and obtain the one thing that all men in this world strive for, but only so very little ever achieve, a female. Just saying the word makes me want to run like a baby into the nearest corner and just start crying myself to sleep. Riz is a power that is stored deep within every man who walks this earth, but only so many are ever really able to fully unlock their full Riz powers. An example of a man who has fully mastered the power power of Riz is a man known amongst the monks of Riz kingdom as Sir Duke Dennis III, aka my future baby daddy. Sir Duke Dennis has not only mastered Riz, he has also created his own separate variation of it too, called Unspoken Riz. Now Unspoken Riz is a technique that can only be used by those who have spent years perfecting their Riz. So today I won't be teaching you how to perform Unspoken Riz, but in today's lesson, Rizzlers and Rizzlerettes, I will be teaching you the basics of how to Riz and finally get some bitches. Also shout out to Birdie for this idea. I originally got this video idea from him a video called the art of riz go check out his channel link in description step one fix your drip now for those of you who might not know what this word means the term drip is a word that the ancient monks used to describe someone who has immaculate taste in clothing it is a term used to describe those who wear fits handcrafted by the drip lord himself they say those who acquire such magnificent clothing have almost a 99 percent chance of bagging any female or male they want now i know what you're thinking cough cough how is it possible for a simpleton a mere peasant like me to obtain such legendary attire well first you need to hit the subscribe button and follow me on twitter second you'll need to learn how to match unlike in ancient times the society of today's standard of drip has decreased exponentially nowadays you see guys rocking the most disgraceful unholy and diabolical fits imaginable some of you people genuinely need to be sentenced to 25 years to life in federal prison for the war crimes you commit on my eyes like look at this this fool really looked in the mirror and said yeah i put that shit on anyway first you want to pick a certain color scheme for your drip whether that be black and white pink and yellow or some weird this rainbow design that muffins be wearing nowadays once you've decided on what colors to wear it is now time to decide on what type of clothes you will be wearing now i know that most of you all watching this video probably wear just about the same clothes every day a hoodie with some sweatpants and some beat up forces that look like they've been through hell and back but today i'm gonna tell you what arguably might be the best type of fabric a man can put on his body first you want to buy something to cover up that receding hairline of yours i recommend a wig preferably a red wig like this now see i know what you're thinking this might be the goofiest wig i've ever seen but I advise you, my Rizzlers in training, to trust me, for I am the chosen one sent from the gods to do what you can never do and that's help you get some girls. Next, you want to cover up that huge schnauzer of yours. I mean, do you really think women want to be with a guy who looks like he can smell everything within a 14 mile radius? So to combat this issue, I recommend you buy a new nose, preferably a red nose that looks like this. You want to make sure that everything you buy follows the same type of color pattern or else your drip will automatically be trash. This new nose is just what you Yoshi built dudes need in your life. Next, you want to find yourself a nice suit. You know women love a guy who has a classy look to him, but I'm not talking about your typical boring all black suit. If you're serious about becoming the next Rizzler, the last Rizbender, you need to spice up your drip. I recommend a colorful suit, a suit that really shows off your dominance as a man. Preferably a suit that looks something like this. Not only will you be the most colorful and dominant looking man in the room, but you will also show your woman how much you support the LGBTQ XYZ123 movement. Nothing but an extra bonus to your overall Riz grade. Next is your shoes. We all know that your drip cannot be complete without the crispiest, sauciest pairs of shoes. Now I recommend you buy shoes, but in the big biggest size possible. The reason for this is because it is rumored that the bigger the feet, the bigger the meat. Meaning that if you pull up on a female in size 20 shoes, she's automatically going to know just how much meat you're packing down there. I think the best type of shoes are the shoes that look something like this. Again, also remember you gotta get them in red so that way the whole fit matches and goes together. Once you're done assembling your fit, it should look something similar to this. Now trust me, even though I know some of you guys might not be feeling this, trust me when I say all the holes are going to be all over your body when you pop out with this fit also if people start running away from you in complete terror it's not because they're afraid of you it's just that they love your fit so much that the only way they can express their love is by screaming now that you've crafted a divine outfit to rock it's time to work on your next step towards your riz degree and that's your ability to spit game now for those of you who don't know what game is it's basically how well you're able to sweet talk the ladies now being able to spit game is probably the hardest and trickiest step to master mainly because even with the w fit you have if you have no game most females will instantly reject you. Think of spitting game as the way to allow women to get a dive into your personality and who you are as a person. Now it's also important because what you say to a woman can be the difference between you two smashing the same night or you ending up in the back of a police car. There are some men who master this and are 
able to get laid the same night they meet a woman. And some men who are currently doing 45 years in the state penitentiary simply because they never mastered this step. Regardless though, spinning game can be a little tricky, so in order to give you additional help, I'll go ahead and give you one of my own pickup lines that have never failed me when talking to a female. So girl, how you doing on this lovely night? Good, how about you? I'm doing even better, especially ever since I laid eyes on you. Oh, stop it, stop it. Anyway, girl, I just wanted to tell you about how much your breasts remind me of Mount Rushmore. Wait, what? Because my face should be among them. Now, after you've delivered this suave poetry of words, there's almost a 90% chance that she immediately falls in love with you. As again, I've tested this exact method and pick up lines several times before. And out of all those times, I've only ever been arrested twice. I mean, I've never gotten in any type of trouble at all. Please don't look at my criminal record. Another important tip when it comes to spinning game to a female is to always make sure you spice up your image. You know, make yourself look a little cooler and more important of a person than you actually are. For example, let's say you work a job as a cashier register at Burger King. Obviously, most ladies don't want no man who takes orders and smells like fries for a living. So instead of telling her that you work at a Burger King, you tell her that you're an all-star NBA player. I mean, most females don't even watch basketball, so there's really no way she'll be able to tell if you're lying or not. I mean, which option do you think most females would choose john who works a nine to five making 13 dollars an hour or a ripoff version of lebron james who makes millions of dollars a year the answer is obvious now i know what you're thinking cough isn't that just lying to her and to that i say that it's not lying it's just simply not telling the truth you see here on the cough channel we promote only the most upstanding and honorable behavior for this reason i'm not encouraging you guys to go sit there and go do something as horrific and sinful as lying bending the truth and spicing up your image is nothing more than you making yourself more attractive to the ladies the final step into achieving your riz degree is confidence confidence is your ability to trust yourself in an uncomfortable situation like for example when i have to order my own meal from a fast food restaurant should be having me nervous as hell be feeling like i gotta throw up i closely compare having confidence as a man to having the schlong the size of johnny sins as a man the more confidence you have the more big dick energy you give off or whatever those dumb tiktok e-girls be saying anyway we all know that women love a man with lots and lots of confidence confidence a man who's confident enough to let his girl check his browser history before deleting it a man who's confident enough to slap a man just for looking at him wrong a man who's confident enough to walk outside butt naked as a man if you are able to become confident in yourself and your ability to pick up women you are guaranteed to get play but you have to be careful to not let your confidence turn into arrogance because then that's when you start to turn into a complete dickhead always remember gentlemen ladies love dick but they don't like heads but anyway i think that's gonna end off today's video in case you guys couldn't tell this entire video was sarcastic and was a complete joke please don't do anything i said in this video if you do you will either be lonely for the rest of your life or be put in the back of a cop car but again if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead hit the subscribe button we just hit 10k subscribers not too long ago if i'm not mistaken like i said my goal is 100k by the end of the year but uh yeah if you guys want to hear some more of my voice there should be a video somewhere on the screen and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one